Um, I think she's giving bindweed maybe a little bit too much credit for its power, but <laughs> I guess we're I guess we're uh, we're gonna we're gonna prevent bindweed from coming around our garden in anywhere anywhere. We're just gonna wipe it all out, all the way out. So, um, all right. So it is one of our favorite times of year. It is getting to be camping season. Just leaving my driveway. Got the camper in tow and it is fixing to be the fun time of the year just played uh, baseball tonight and uh, gonna be nice weather tomorrow so we're gonna go get her set up um, at our lots and park it for the summer so more to come here we go well we're here at the lake at the camping spots so you can't really tell it but I am drenched with rain. Of course, uh, <laughs> now's the time it rains. We definitely need the rain, not complaining about the rain at all. Um, I just wish that we had gotten over here earlier and had everything set up because now I've got to sit here and let this rain pass before I can set everything else up because it is coming down really hard out here. So I'm gonna have to let everything pass before oh man before we um finish up setting up well sometimes things go your way and then sometimes things don't go your way and tonight after getting soaked trying to get the camper set up get it set up and there's an electrical problem so we are back home i'll have to go back tomorrow and try to figure out what the electrical problem is. We did everything we know how to do. We're gonna have to call on reinforcements, somebody that's better at it than we are. But uh, we did everything we could do, so we're back home. We were excited to get to go, but it'll have to wait at least another night. Good thing is the camper is there and set up for the summer, um, so we won't have to take it back out, but we'll have to stay another night at home before we get to go to the lake, so. I knew she had one. Told you it was calving season, here we are. Our red cow just had a red calf the last day or two. It's a lot bigger than the um, cat sized calf we had before that we showed you. <laughs> but that calf's still doing good too, it's right over there with it. Walk out here and see if we can see the little one. There's the little one. The other calf is a whole lot bigger. <coughs> Running towards us. Looking for mom. Mom's over eating hay. Pretty friendly little feller. See if it'll let us get close to it. sure about us. Yeah. You guys are a little too weird for me. It's been a little bit since we've updated you on the garden. Been a couple of weeks. Um, got busy. Baseball got started and uh, haven't been out here much. I haven't, but Kristen and kids have or one of the kids at least our helper Dax I don't know if the other two have been out here too much but anyways um, today we talked about last night we were supposed to go camping and we didn't get to so today turned into a garden day after all so here's the progress Beds filled with uh, soil, a lot of soil, and we got the wood chips down. Last time you saw it, it had the, 
the logs and the wood chips and things in the bottom. So now we have the soil in it and um, can't really tell you what we're going to do yet today. I'm not the one in charge, I'm just the worker. So uh, we'll see what's in store for the rest of the day. First load for the bed of the pickup on the bed of the pickup for the rest of what we're fixing to do. The chauffeur over there. A little bit in the back seat. So we're gonna go back and forth probably several times get loads of the mulch and the dirt as we pass the kales. So it's gonna be probably a lot of back and forth all day. So we got all three kids out here ready to work. Well, I wouldn't say ready to work, but they're gonna work. And uh, this, this is how this all goes down. We get the boxes laid out and then we put everything on top and what the boxes do is try to keep the weeds from creeping in and getting in the flower beds. So, that's, roosters are fired up roosters are fired up got the dog barking got it all going on so here we go chickens are giving themselves dust baths they get in those holes and they cover themselves in dust like that we just got done doing it helps keep the mites off of them so that's what they've been doing today we're in this corner there's two holes right there Eggs. Yeah, yeah. Get themselves dust baths. What was that? I do have one question for people out there. Hopefully, we're not alone. Why do. What are you doing? Get away. Why do siblings argue? I don't understand that because I'm an, I didn't have siblings, but why do siblings constantly, I'm being told to back up, why do siblings constantly fight and argue? Question of the day. You ever do something for so long during a day and your motivation level goes to um, below low that's where we're at today. We've made so many trips to town to get more boxes, and we're hungry. Very and, hungry. And very hungry, she says. And the kids are inside because they haven't came back out after our last trip to town. And um, we're gonna go in soon and watch the final four and eat. But this is one of those days when it's been exhausting and our um, care level has dropped dramatically. But we're sticking with it. We're going to finish. We just went and got another load of boxes. So we're going to finish it up. Well, it won't be completely finished, but it will be um, as finished as it's going to be for today. So you saw at the beginning of the day, well, you, you saw earlier in the video how... Um, Kristen and the kids worked on it a little bit. 
throughout the last week or so while I've been busy. And then you saw what it started out today. Still got some more dirt and stuff to add, but we definitely expanded the dirt and the wood chips. And we've got a bit of a roosters are still enjoying the day. Um, we expanded our, uh, or we added hay to the uh, other flower flower bed that we're gonna have garden. Not sure what all is exactly gonna be in there, but added some hay into that as well. So that is getting closer to a finished product. So we've just about reached the end of the day. Finally, but had a very productive day. I'm walking down here to get the tractor now while she finishes up. It's been really fun. It's kind of, it's all starting to kind of come together, but I'll show you a little bit of that here in just a minute at the end. But um, it's been a long day. We're tired. We're worn out, but we will um, have a nice finished product. We just kept going back to town to get more boxes and just when I thought we were gonna be done and how we ran out, we can call it a day and go get ready to fix supper and watch the final four. Hey, let's run to town and get another load of boxes. So we did. And then we put those boxes down. And then we ran to town and got another load of boxes. We put those boxes down. And we just kept cycling. When I really thought we were done about three loads of boxes ago and you get a bunch of boxes and you think, oh, that's plenty. No, it's not. It's not plenty. It's never plenty. They don't go very far. When they're broke down, you think they're spread out in their big boxes. They're not. They don't go very far. It takes a whole bunch of boxes to do this garden thing, but we're going to get it eventually. It's just a process. So. Um, I think she's giving bindweed maybe a little bit too much credit for its power, but <laughs> guess we're gonna, guess we're uh, we're gonna we're gonna prevent bindweed from coming around our garden in anywhere anywhere. We're just gonna wipe it all out, all the way out. So after a long day of spreading out dirt and wood chips and getting a lot of getting a lot of accomplished though. We, uh, it has come to an end. It's almost time to go fix supper and watch a little Final Four. So, as always, remember to love God, love people, go make a difference.